Hey, it's KZ Dom. Um, back here in my garage. I'm going to do another tool review. Yesterday I talked about the Quinn socket set. Um, a high vis 66 piece kit I really liked. So today I decided I'd talk about my Quinn screwdriver kit. This is the 15 piece kit from Harbor Freight. Don't count them because I know I've already lost some of them and I have doubles. So. <coughs> You want to skip to the end of the video? Don't do that. I'll tell you right now. If you're not a professional, buy them. They're great screwdrivers. I really enjoy them. If you are a professional, um, maybe they'll hold up. I don't know. I'm not a professional. I'm just a dude who likes to tinker with crap in his garage. Uh, the screwdrivers. The good. They feel comfortable. I really like these screwdrivers. I bought the little two kit that Harbor Freight sells by the uh, cash register. Um, I think it's these two that you get. They're like three bucks, and I took them home and I used them, and I went right back to Harbor Freight and I bought the 15 piece kit. Why did I buy this kit? Um, I had crap screwdrivers. Everything I had was old hand me down screwdrivers. I mean, like, this guy doesn't even have a tip on him anymore. Uh, I had some real Ichiban Moto stuff. Um, my favorite little carburetor screwdriver for working on old Japanese spikes this guy right here if you're an Ichiban Moto fan you know what I'm talking about <laughs> but um, back to the Quinn stuff the comfort grip on these is really nice the the all-around build quality is there as you can tell I use and abuse my tools um, my two most used drivers are probably these guys this one, I don't use as a driver very often. It's always prying up fuel lines and whatnot because I work on old stuff, so it's always dry rotted on there. So the, the coating on the tip has kind of come off. I don't know if that'll show up, but the actual blade has not... Oh, there, I'm peeling some of it off right there. The actual blade um, hasn't started to chip or anything. And this is from complete misuse of the screwdriver. Uh, <clears throat> now, where was I going at with this? The, a lot of the stuff I work on, as I mentioned, is old. Um, so there's a lot of harsh solvents I use, like carburetor cleaner and whatnot. Um, I have been known to leave my tools outside in the rain and everything. So these, these have lived a rough life. Um, and they're not new. I've had these for almost a year now, and... They have held up really well, like surprisingly well. One of the things I'm most impressed with is the comfort grip. Um, because, you know, these are the ones I use on carburetors. These, you know, I've, I've used these and they have gotten Kim Dip all over them. They've gotten carb cleaner on them, PB blasted. Everything that tells me that this should be eaten away and it is still there. Um, I've spilled carb dip, Kim dip all over these guys here. I've, they've been into the Kim dip bucket and just wiped off and the plastic is still there good as new. Um, it's dirty but they're good as new. So that's really impressive. Uh, one of the things that some guys might not like is that the lettering on these has not survived. So where it says the sizes here it, they, it just wiped off. Um, one of the drivers that I don't use, I rarely use this big guy here, and as you can see, the lettering is still there, <clears throat> but on all the ones that I do use frequently, the lettering is gone. Um, some of the features of the screwdrivers, you know, they've got the hole in them, so if you've got a tough thing, you can grab something, a screwdriver, and stick it through and give it a good whack. I personally don't use the screwdrivers that way. I don't know how strong this plastic is. You can see I've tried it and I've kind of put some stress marks there. I mean if I've got something that's not going to budge and I need to get a little bit more leverage on it, I'm either one going to hit it with a hammer and with these screwdrivers again because of that cutout I don't know if I really want to hit it with a hammer. So I put the screwdriver away and I get the impact driver and I use that thing. Um, so I may abuse my tools, but I'm somewhat smart with them. 
uh, <clears throat> it's you know 15 piece kit it works well it's about $24 I know they have a coupon for it I don't know if the coupon brings it to 24 or if it brings it to like $19 or whatever but needless to say like I said I would buy these in a heartbeat again um, I my only gripe is and this is just wishful thinking is you know it's just standard Phillips and you know flat head flat blade whatever they're called I would love for Harbor Freight to come out with like a Quinn set or something um, that's Jis, so I don't have to buy um, weird stuff from Japan to work on my old Japanese bikes. I would love a, a Jis set of drivers. Uh, I know that's not going to happen, it's wishful thinking, but. Huh. Big car just drove by. But for what I've um, been working on, these have been really great. Um, I would buy them again. Uh, the build quality is what has impressed me the most. And, you know, I thought that this rubberized grip was going to just deteriorate with my usage because it's always harsh solvents and I'm messy with them. And you can tell that I'm messy with my stuff. I mean, I do not clean my screwdrivers after I use them. <laughs> And they've held up. So if you're looking for a good cheap buy um, that should last, you know, a long time, especially if you're one of those people that is really, you know, you, you wipe your tools down every time and you put them away, these will last a really long time. I mean, they've lasted almost a year of abuse with me. And um, I would definitely buy a second set and throw them in the... the the truck or whatever to have. I mean, there there's some things you buy from Harbor Freight and you're like, yeah, I, I, I like it, but if I have to buy it again, I won't buy it again. These are certainly something that I would buy again. Um, at the time when I bought them, they were the highest quality screwdriver Harbor Freight sold. They hadn't released the Doyle line of stuff yet, so I'm really kind of curious to see how those Doyle screwdrivers are when they come out so um, I might pick up some of those in the future just just because I have a problem I buy stuff I don't need anyways so if you're interested in any of that or I'll probably do some more tool videos especially as winter's coming and it's getting colder out here um, I'll get the Polaris going start working on some bikes doing some tool videos I think right now I've got a pretty good setup going on as far as my recording goes I'm learning the video audit the video editing stuff so uh, like and subscribe if you're interested in any of this stuff. Let me know what you think. If there's anything you want, you want me to talk about or anything like that, let me know. Um, next few videos I've got coming, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I know I need to do the carb rebuild for the Polaris um, Sportsman 400. i got to get the engine put back in that thing. Uh, the bushings are still on their way. They're supposed to be here in the middle of the month of October. So then we'll get the rear end rebuilt, but uh, that's what's going on right now. Uh, hopefully I'll get back to some motorcycle stuff in the future. I'm currently saving up to buy a new bike, so that'll be really fun. Like an actual new bike. A cheap new bike, but a new bike. So stick around for that if you're interested. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me in the garage. Um, if you need some screwdrivers and you don't want to break the bank, but you want something that will actually hold up, check out the Quinn screwdrivers. And that's all I got for today. So, cool. See you later.